So it was Shabbos afternoon, and I needed to go and get an extra person for our minion for Mincha. The regulars weren't there, and so I went across the street to the house where three young men live. These three young men are somehow detached from traditional Judaism. And so I went, and I got the youngest of these three young men, and convinced him to have him and his brothers join us for Mincha. Now again, these three brothers really don't go to formal prayers. They don't normally go to shul. And so I was very happily excited when I saw that they had come to help us. After the prayers were over, I joshed around with the youngest of the men who was growing on very, very long bangs in his front. A haircut that normally wouldn't be approved if had in the Orthodox Jewish community. You see, the Orthodox Jewish community, unfortunately, is very sensitive to how people present themselves. Do you wear a black hat? Do you wear a white shirt and black pants? How long are your skirts? How long are your sleeve lengths? And as a result, within our own corner of the world, our communities, on a certain degree, have this animosity towards each other, really based almost entirely on how people present themselves physically. Later, a bunch of the other men came over to me and said, why are you encouraging the way this young man grows his hair? And I told them, when we judge people on how they present themselves, we're not judging on who they are on the inside. We're forgetting that spark, that neshama, that absolute unbelievable kedusha that exists in every single person. And if we stop and take a minute to actually make connections and get to know these people, we may learn some things about ourselves as well. The most essential idea of our Torah is Love your friend as you would love yourself. But unfortunately, I think we are letting the outside layers get at to what really is inside. One of my favorite stories about Rav Shlomo Kalbach is when he was walking through somewhere in Yerushalayim and a fan of his music, a man with long hair, no kippah, came running up to Rav Shlomo Kalbach and said, Rav Kalbach, I am your biggest fan. And Rabbi Kalbach looked at him and said, no, I'm yours.